Hey everyone, Ayelo here. Today, I just wanted to share with you my two-week progress and what I've been able to accomplish as a free-to-play player over the last 14 days. Now, before you click away, I will be going over some of the strategies and tricks I used to do what I did, so please do stick around if you are interested. First things first, if you are the type of person to FOMO or fear of missing out, I really recommend that you not watch this video. I really do believe that Lost Ark is a game that is extremely fun and enjoyable, but it can be easy to forget that when you compare yourself to others. We all progress at different paces. There will be people who are way ahead of you and also people who are way behind you. There's always going to be people who invest 100 times more money in the game than you or 100 times more time than you. So I really can't stress this enough. If you feel anxiety when you feel other people ahead of you, then take a second and relax. This isn't a race against each other. Play at your own pace and you'll get there eventually. Seriously, even me, who is, I would consider a pretty veteran player, when I saw my group get to tier 3 a few days ago, I felt some extreme FOMO because I was stuck in tier 2. I was banking up currency to save for the future, but I had to really remind myself what my goals were and not to blow all my savings on trying to upgrade. Again, if you FOMO easily, do not watch this video, but more importantly, remind yourself that you don't have to try and keep up with anyone else. Just play at your own pace. Okay, now I know that was kind of a long disclaimer, so let's get into the video. If you don't know, I've been doing a free-to-play challenge on the North American servers. I had been gifted a silver pack from a guildie so that I could participate in the head start, but I never opened it or touched the royal crystals that came with the pack. Of course, here you see two of them because of Amazon's double pack launch compensation apology thing. And here are the royal crystals that I haven't even touched. Now, I know that I'm not technically free to play as I was fortunate enough to have the three day head start, but I had to choose between a quote unquote pure challenge or being able to create guides and content and I opted for the latter. With that out of the way, let's start going over what I've managed to do in the last 14 days of extreme no life grinding. First of all, my main. I managed to get to 1324, almost 1325 item level on my bard. In addition to that, I also have two more bards, one at 860 item level and one at 533 item level. I also made two death blades, one at 836 and another at 340 item level. Now I only leveled my first character, my main, which took just under nine and a half hours to hit level 50. If you want to know more about my bard leveling process, I have another video talking about it on my channel. Then I used my two power passes on my alts and I ended up making two more bards. And then I used two knowledge transfers on my two blades. If you didn't know, knowledge transfer allows you to pay 600 gold to boost a character from level 1 to level 50, almost like a free to play version of a power pass. Now I want to make an important clarification here, knowledge transfer only completes quests for you and it doesn't actually boost your character's item level. That means that even though I have a main in tier 3, I can't just pay gold to boost, for example, another character to tier 2. In order to use knowledge transfer to boost a character to Yorn, for example, the character I want to boost needs to have 600 item level, which means they're already eligible to go to tier two anyway. All knowledge transfer does is save the two hours it would take for me to complete the Yorn story quests, which means it's not worth it because it costs 1400 gold. Now, if you want to pay 1400 gold to save two hours, be my guest. But in my opinion, if you want a knowledge transfer, please just do the burn one only. It's the best value by far. Now, speaking of value, I've managed to save up quite a bit of currency. I'm sitting at just over 30,000 blue crystals and 41,000 gold. And I know you're going to ask me, how the hell did you make so much money in just two weeks? Are you sure you're not swiping or anything behind the scenes off stream? First of all, if you're curious about all my transactions and what I've done on a detail by detail basis, check out my free to play diary and the link is in the description. I've been documenting everything I do in the game since day one, including when I buy blue crystals and when I do this and that. So if you're ever curious about what I'm up to, just check that out. Let's talk about gold first. I've been able to make so much gold simply by just selling everything. And I mean everything. It sounds kind of obvious, but since day one, I've been selling all of my tradable materials, leap stones, weapon and armor stones, you name it. I've sold tons of engraving books since day one when green grudge books were selling for 200 gold gold each. For your reference, these are now 4 gold each. I've also sold tons of accessories, each going for 100 to 250 gold each. Not a lot, but these add up quickly. And for example, you see here, I've even sold tier 2 chaos gear when I got to tier 2 very quickly. And these were selling for anywhere from 45 to 100 gold each. And now they're selling for, I think, 4 gold. It's important to note here that I have been spending hours and hours and hours playing since launch. I haven't missed a single event like Chaos Gate or Field Boss. So please, please take this with a grain of salt. 
If you're playing just a few hours a day or maybe just an hour a day, you can't compare your progress to mine. Again, do not FOMO. You're doing just fine and I want to remind you of that. Now back to gold, I also flipped gems for a while. Level 3 bar gems at the beginning were selling for 350 gold a while back, but the cooldown reduction gems of other classes were selling for as low as 40 to 50 gold. If you didn't know, you can reroll gems from other classes into gems of your own, just the same way you can reroll your own gems to have different skills. So what I did here is I changed the filter from bard to all, and I bought the cheap gems from other classes and re-rolled them for 4,000 silver each into bard gems. And then I sold them for about a 7 times profit. I actually did share this tip on stream a while back, so if you got it on the strategy then congratulations. Chaos Gates were another huge source of my gold. Just going to Chaos Gate and doing a map rotation, which is doing 4 maps together in a party, nets you 4 of these pouches. As you can see, that's an easy 800 to 1600 gold just for the small and medium pouches and that's not including the star's breasts that you get. These go for about 30 gold each and you get about 10 to 20 of them. Now if you do 4 legendary maps in a party, you get 8 large pouches which is 6400 gold give or take, again not including the star's breaths. Have you ever wondered why people bid so much for these legendary maps? This is why. All in all, if you want to make gold, here is my tip. Sell everything you can possibly sell and upgrade with materials that you can't sell. For example, I use the bound leap stones I get from my Una dailies and my Una weeklies to upgrade, while selling all the tradable leap stones I get from guardian raids. If you look at tier 2 leap stones for example, they're selling for a whopping 160 to 170 gold. If you get 6 of these a day from guardian raids and more if you do higher level ones, that's a minimum of 1000 to 2000 gold per day. In tier 3, I'm selling stones for almost 300 gold each. Of course, the luxury of progressing fast means that you can sell higher level materials which has been another big factor in making gold for me. More importantly, I just never spent my gold to buy stuff to upgrade, not until I was already set up. Even then, I only did so very sparingly. I just took my time, accepted the fact that I progress a few days slower, and focused on my goal of making gold instead. And with that gold, I was able to continuously stock up on blue crystals. If you look at the currency exchange, you can see that the rate is currently 320 gold for 95 blue crystals, or about 1 to 3.2. If you look at my diary, you can see that I was buying up crystals in the early days for a fifth of the cost around 67 or 70 gold for 95 blue crystals. Since I could save up all my early gold by selling all my materials and items, I built up a nice chunk of blue crystals that I'm sitting on now. Now my stash here cost about 20k gold back then, but if you were to buy it at these rates now, it would cost you 95,000 gold, about a 5x increase. Blue crystals increase in value over time, but the gold value decreases because of inflation. The more people reach higher levels, the more gold gets generated, and the value of gold goes down. Now here's the question you might be wondering, is it still too late to buy blue crystals? And I'd say that if you're under 5,000 crystals, or maybe even a thousand crystals, you're hovering, or maybe you have no crystals, I would still recommend buying at these rates. Tier 3 makes a ton of gold, which means inflation will continue to bring up the price of blue crystals as more and more people reach this level. I see the value of crystals hitting 1000 or 1500 gold within the next few months before stabilizing, so that means at the current rate of 320, you're still looking at a 3 to 5x return on your investment if you buy now. Of course, again, with those blue crystals, I was able to buy bound materials from Mario secret shop which I used to upgrade. So what else have I been able to accomplish other than leveling up and making gold? Whenever the servers were wonky or matchmaking didn't work or if I failed all my upgrades, by the way it isn't like I've been extremely lucky either. If you open your achievements book with alt o and go to character then items, you can scroll all the way down and look at the achievement here called honing failure or strategic failure. As you can see I've failed at honing about 70 times so don't curse your own RNG too much. Even if you keep failing, you'll still make it in the end, don't worry. Anyway, whenever I was stuck, I would work on my adventure book and collectibles. I've managed to hit 70% in almost every zone except Yorn, Phaeton, and Punica, as I haven't gotten around to those yet. It gives a bunch of rewards, notably 12 skill points if you complete East Lutera, and if you complete North Vern, Shushire, and Rohendel, as these give 3 skill points each for hitting various percentages. I've gone around and completed the side quest that I skipped while leveling and collected almost 800 Makokos and a bunch of other collectible stuff and more. Let me repeat that. If you're stuck, first of all, feel free to take a break from the game. 
It's not always about grinding 24-7, this isn't a job after all, but for those of you who can't progress and still want to play, I really recommend just taking a break and doing some collectibles since you'll want to do them later and you have some downtime now. But what's the most important thing of all that I've managed to do? Have fun. Messing around with guildies. Man the harpoons, boys. Man the harpoons. Shoot the purple, shoot the purples. Right there, right there, right there. Focus it, focus it. Nice, nice. Clams. Grab the clams, dude. Turtles, man. I'll bring the turtle to the boss. Sorry. I'm bringing the turtle. We have the turtle. Was there an achievement to bring the turtle into the boss? Yeah. Uh, don't worry. I got it. I got it. Chrissy would win right away. Yeah. Did you get the achievement? Yeah. Wait, I'm drowning because I'm playing holding a turtle. <laughs> I've been enjoying the game a lot, despite already having played it for a year on two other servers, Korea and Russia. Lost Ark is really a great game and extremely rewarding if you put the time into it or find a community that you click with. If you get anything out of this video, I hope it's that you should progress at your own pace and if you're having fun, that's all that matters. The purpose of this video isn't really to flex or to tell you that you need to be doing all these things that I'm doing, but really just as an update on what I've been up to on these two weeks for people who are curious and maybe some tips on what you can do if you're feeling lost in the game. Remember, if you want to keep up exactly with what I've been doing, check out my streams or follow my diary. I've also been thinking about turning my massive 40 page bard guide into a video, but I have a question for you all. Would you prefer one mega long video or have it broken down into several parts? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching. This has been IU, and until next time, bye you.